Hello and welcome to a new Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today we're going to be reviewing this fella. It's Father's Day. It's time to take a trip down memory lane. And what better way to take a trip down memory lane is with an absolute barnstorming beer. Didn't even know about that. Uh, I'd seen it. I'd obviously dressed it on the shelves when I worked in Sainsbury's. But, um, you know, I'd not really fancied it. And uh, there was a party, um, not last Christmas, Christmas before, and my um, workmate, good workmate at, at my old company, said, hey, you want to try them sports sides? It's a fantastic beer. So I thought, oh, well, we'll see what the fuss is. So I drank it. Bloody hell, it was amazing. So here we go. An old beer, 6.3%, brewed with pale ale, malt, and first gold hops. And it says here, Broadside is a dark ruby red beer, rich in fruitcake aromas, almonds and conserved fruit. The sort of beer that absolutely hits my spot. A strength that I like as well. So, um, happy Father's Day everybody. Um, I've just had an amazing uh, beer haul. I got uh, rum off my youngest. Uh, Obviously his man bought it. Oh, that's that aroma from the broadside, that dark mould, some rich fruit. You know, you really can get the aroma. And that's from here. I'm, I'm like 18 inches to two feet away from it. Beautiful. Um, my daughter got me some Thornbridge beers and a glass. I got a glass with the rum as well. And then I got um, two new Hooper's um, Cherry Aid and Rhubarb and Custard. Um, ready to drink drinks and then I got 14 a selection of 14 beers for £19.50 a bit cheaper than yesterday 50 quid for 11 and uh, you can't afford supermarkets really you know uh, as a beer reviewer I can't afford to be paying 10 a bottle uh, not unless I'm getting it for free um, but yeah that's cracking beer haul oh, that's in another video we're in this video let's talk broadside what a stunner Oh, you could just bathe in this. Well, no, maybe not, but. So, yeah, dark ruby red colour, off white head, um, beautiful fruitcake aromas, and then and the taste. You do get the almonds, you, uh, the conserved fruit, I don't know what conserved fruit is, but it's a malt based, fantastic beer. You know some beers put a smile on your face because you know what's coming and this is why sometimes I like to re review one to make sure that it's still as good as it was two take a trip down memory lane you know three just to sit down have a chat like a virtual pub and just enjoy good beer absolute Belter. If you're looking for a beer to get your dad, um, this to me is one of the staple beers. As long as he can drink 6.3% beers and he doesn't mind dark beers, but to me, an absolute classic. You know, one of the best beers on supermarket shelves. And the reason I say that nowadays is uh, because obviously I've not tasted every beer out there. There's thousands of beers. Wow. And I'll never ever be able to get round all of them. So by focusing, I'll try and get beers from other breweries, but focusing on what I can get from a supermarket, what's readily available, is a way for me to, at least, so you, if you're going to get that beer, you know, most of the time supermarket beers are cheaper anyway. But, uh, I mean, there's, there's gems out in the country, there's gems in other stores, but the fact is the prices are, you know, they're a bit steep in places. Like yesterday when I paid uh, 50 quid for 11 and um, I mean, it, it, the shop was nice, the people were lovely, but obviously they've got to make a living. But, um, you know, I'm not in a, in a position where I can afford to spend silly money on, on beers. So, um, and now I think I've breached, I've, the wall's been breached. We are at silly levels now. I've got two bags of beers and absolutely probably nowhere to stick them, even if I double up this shelf at the bottom. I could go 
I could go up top and I could fill this up as well, although it's pretty full as it is. But hey, oh, you know, you've got to have a good. Um, obviously, I'm a beer. I like beer reviewing is my one of my hobbies. Not all of my hobbies, you know. Obviously, gardener in real life, um, and for the most part, enjoy that for the most part. Um, obviously, I do websites. Not that I've done for a few weeks because I've been a bit ill. But um, you know, I love my gardening. I love doing beer reviews. I love home brewing. And, uh, and I ain't got no homebrew on the go at the moment, funnily enough. Uh, we will be going back to homebrew um, very soon. Um, some sort of homebrew anyway. Especially for the winter months, because obviously summer's going to come and go as quick as you like. So Adnams do a lot of different beers, uh, they do gins, and I've got a lot of um, breweries, pubs and that as well. They also do quite a few beers for uh, Marks and Spencers as well in their range of beers. You know, these brewed exclusively for, for Marks and Spencer jobbies. So, yeah, I've been to Morrison's today, that's where I got this fella from. And, um, God, it was like a free for all. It's like everybody's forgot that there is such a thing as social distancing now. There was no queue to get in, funnily enough. But the shop was busy as hell anyway. One poor woman on, on there doing the self scan. So you've got eight self scan cells. That was five. Eight self scan cells and um, probably get a bollock in there. Eight self scan cells and two. Um, Bigger self scan tools, and this poor bloody woman. There's a massive queue because a lot of people are being crafty and just using the basket lanes. And this poor woman is having to look after 10 tools. Now, everybody's buying booze because it's Father's Day, and then people with um, clothes with um, and she was run, run ragged. And I felt so sorry for her, not getting no help from the staff. I mean, bloody hell, talk about being made to work for your money! Ridiculous. So, I normally like to do the darker beers in winter because obviously porters and dark beers are great in winter. But also, remember this time of the year, uh, we don't all want to be drinking lager, cider, pale ales and golden ales. You know, as much as I'll drink virtually anything, um, I do like to try the darker beers. And when it comes to a beer like this, bloody outstanding beer, a true top ten beer. Watch me get a bollock in there. <laughs> Are you doing a bit of this time of day? I'm going back out. I'm going to clean the bar down. I've got some steaks to cook this afternoon for the wife. And uh, yeah, I'm doing the cooking. I'm the only one with any patience to stand next to a barbecue. Everybody else is putting me on the, on the allergen oven. Whatever looks like it's taking a turn for the worse. Bloody blip. Oh well, light rain showers and the moderate breeze, that's changed since this morning. I tell you what, these weather forecasts just do you bloody nothing. Yeah. Although it's only the next hour and there's a 50% chance. Mm. Typical, isn't it? Hey. You want to sit out in your yard and do a bit of chilling and get a bloody rain. Oh well, it wouldn't be British weather without some sh shizzle weather, would it? That was absolutely outstanding. From the minute you pour it, the aromas that hit you and uh, the aroma delivers you into the taste. The taste is immense throughout. A truly awesome beer. Um, 
obviously it hits my spot not all beers we are not all going to be fans of the same beers and at a time and place every beer lager cider spirit will hit that spot for you at that particular moment and then another time you'll drink it you'll think why did I think this was nice shite that's just the way it is and uh, we don't want to all be the same anyway, do we? Because then we wouldn't have all these beers. If everybody drank Best Bitter, we'd all have thousands of versions of the same Best Bitter. So it is good to be able to be fans of all beers. I mean, apart from, I don't know, it's been two or three that have been absolutely dire. But then again, I might have drank them on a day where I just didn't like them at all. You know, or I was too brutal in my review. So, uh, an absolutely perfect pair for me. Uh, I love that, them, them, them complex uh, dried fruit flavours, Christmas pudding type flavours, and a uh, great aroma, great taste, perfect throughout. Out of five, 4.65 out of five, one of my absolute favourites. It may not be yours, but it's certainly mine. And that's it for this beer review. Um, as always, thanks everybody for subscribing and following. You know, it's uh, it's warming that we're getting close to that thousand. I like, in the early days, I did do live uh, reviews, and then I actually got double the amount of people watching when they were live. And then obviously Google, uh, sorry YouTube, which is Google, uh, decided to uh, change it to a thousand. Obviously, probably because uh, people were, were abusing it, I presume. Um, really, you know, well, you can't say what, why they're really using it, but I can think of reasons. Um, but yeah, it not be long before, hopefully, before we get to a thousand, and then we can start doing live reviews, uh, virtual pub nights, you know, chatting shite, and you'll be able to chat shite to me, which would be something different. You know, I wish I could get internet to this shed again. Because then I can get it on the big screen instead of doing it on the little, you know, on a on a on a mobile screen. Um, I will try and rig something up. See if my, I can get a long range adapter for me uh, laptop or something, so I can actually read it proper. Because sometimes it's nice to be able to read it or do the reviews in the garden. So I'm near the house. Uh, there's weight. There's swings and roundabouts in in everything, isn't there? And uh, but anyway, uh, awesome beer. Hope you're having an awesome day. And uh, come see what the wife has to say now. Yeah, probably get married out, but yeah, you caught me no more, can you? Thanks for watching. See you soon.